Hello everyone and good morning. In the last class, I discussed about the different type of crops, which is classified based upon the different season in which they grown well. Now, we have a shortly idea about Kharif and Rabi crops. I also give you a preli information about rotation of crops which is very important to improve the fertility of soil and increase the crop yield. But the question is what is crop rotation and how it increase the fertility of soil. For example, say a farmer has planted a field of corn and when the corn harvest in fees finished, he might plant beans or groundnut in the same field. So what's happened? Corn, which planted first, consume a lot of nitrogen from the soil for its growth and makes the soil nitrogen deficient. But when crops like beans planting on the same plot or land it returns nitrogen to the soil through nitrogen fixing bacteria which enrich the soil with nitrogen compound and increase its fertility. So we can say crop rotation is the practice of planting different crops sequentially on the same plot or land to improve the soil health. Uh, later I will discuss about this in detail. In the first video I also discuss about the various agricultural practices which are carried out at various stages of crop production. These are preparation of soil, showing, adding manure and fertilizer, irrigation, removal of weeds, harvesting, and storage of food grains. These seven steps are the basic practices of crop production. Our total chapter based on the seven basic steps, which also known as agricultural practices. In the entire chapter, I will describe all the agricultural practices in details to know how food is produced on a large scale. First one is preparation of soil. So for cultivating crop for fruit production, preparation of soil is the first step. If you prepare a soil properly, then you get good and healthy plants because soil provide minerals, water, air, humes to the plants. So it is very important to prepare soil properly. The soil is prepared for showing the seeds of crop and this is carried out by using various process and with various tools such as tiling or plowing, leveling and manuring. Each of these steps have its own significance. Now the question is, what is tiling? Actually, the process of losing and turning the soil is called plogging and is done by the plog. I think you all know about plog, which is generally made by wood or iron and they have an iron teeth for easy penetration into the soil. You know this, plogs are pulled by pair of blocks or by a tractor. But one thing that, why we need to loosening the soil? Because loose soil allows the plant root to penetrate freely into the soil. So that plants are held more firmly to the ground and also loose soil can hold lot of air 
in its spaces which help plants to breathe easily the loosening and turning of soil during plowing brings the nutrient rich soil to the top so that the plants can use this nutrient easily if the soil is very dry then it breaks into a large mud which is known as crumbs during plowing the mud crumbs are then broken down by using a soil plank which is known as crumb crusher the plowed soil is quite loose so it is liable to be carried away by strong winds or washed away by rain water to removal of top soil by wind and water is called soil erosion so to prevent the soil erosion the plowed soil is leveled by pressing it with a wooden leveler or an iron leveler so that top soil is not blown away by wind the leveling helps in preventing the loss of moisture from the plowed soil the leveling of plowed soil in the field is done by using an implement which is known as leveler the main agricultural implement which is used for loosening the land is plowed hoe and cultivate once the soil is plowed leveled and manured it is ready for the showing of seeds the soil is watered before showing uh i think you all know about the plog generally in the traditional wooden plog contain a long log of wood which is called plog shaft there is a handle at one end of plog shaft below the handle there contain a strong triangular iron strip which is called plog share the other end of the plog share can be attached to a wooden beam which is fixed at right angles to the plog shaft this beam is placed over the neck of two blocks or oxen so they can pull the plog easily nowadays the traditional wooden plog is increasingly being replaced by the iron plog the next one is hoe which is used to dig up soil to remove weeds and also loosen up the soil before planting a slapping you can see there is a handle at the one end of the hoe and a strong broad and bent plate of iron fixed below the hand which is act like a blade the other end of hoe has a beam which is uh, put on the neck of blocks and it also pulled by animals such as a pair of blocks sometimes it is also used by human and the last one or third one is cultivator now what is cultivator actually cultivator is a tractor driven agricultural implement and mainly it is used for loosening the soil quickly actually it has many plog share which can dig into a considerable area of soil and it can lose the soil in a short time so let's try to recap everything that you have done in this season session 
in this session we learn about crop rotation which is very important for your exam purpose after that uh, you learn about different agricultural practices among them today i discuss about preparation of soil and different agricultural implements which is used for loosening the soil okay thank you next day the topic will be continued from here and i think this is enough for today thank you